Do you own an annuity, either fixed rate, indexed, or variable? Are you paying high fees and getting low returns? If so, Annuity General would like you to have this free book to learn the pitfalls and mistakes of buying an annuity. The Annuity Do's and Don'ts for Baby Boomers contains the little-known truths about annuities, like how to help reduce your fees and increase retirement income. And it's free. That's right, free. As a bonus, we'll also throw in a free annuity rate report just for calling. We researched over 1,000 annuities and summarized rates and benefits from financially strong insurers. You get annuity do's and don'ts for baby boomers and the annuity rate report, both absolutely free for calling Annuity General today. Hurry, supplies are limited. Call now. 800-760-1845. 800-760-1845. 800-760-1845. That's 800-760-1845. Hello, this is Marsha Hawkins, and this is Elevating with Marsha. Welcome to the show today. Elevating with Marsha is a great way for you to elevate your business with a guest appearance on Elevating with Marsha. Direct message me via Facebook or Instagram to learn how you can feature your business, product, or services with a red-hot podcast. Let's create some super fans for your business. We're going to take the hour to deliver your personal message about your business in a podcast format. You and your audience can find the show broadcasted on XM203, Sirius 217, and on the Sirius XM app at 967 Sports Byline USA Radio Network. Also broadcasted on iHeartRadio, Amazon Audible, Stitcher, tuned in the American Forces Radio Network. Today's show is going to be brought to you by Blue Wave Financial. Let Mike Athis help you start a new career in the insurance industry. To learn more, stop by bluewavefinancial.com. Mike is the best in the business. And myhealth-quotes.com to learn how to navigate crucial information to ensure you're able to make a knowledge-based decision when it comes to selecting the right health or life plan for you and your family. It's not advised to simply obtain an online quote without understanding the underwriting guidelines. That is critical information that you need to ensure you select a plan you're actually qualified for. Very important. And ElevatedMediaESQ.com. We do it all from video marketing, social media management, For more information, stop by our Facebook or Instagram page at Elevating with Marsha. We're going to post informative information, hot sports news, business lifestyle tips, and ideas to help you elevate yourself and your business. Today's podcast on Elevating with Marsha, we're going to be taking uh, uh, some time to talk about the popularity of podcasting, the history, the reason you may want to have a podcast, and more. Podcasting is red hot right now, and for many reasons. This is Elevating with Marsha on Sirius XM 203. Sirius 217, and on the app at 967 Sports Byline USA Radio Network. Again, today we're going to be talking about podcast, everything you want to know about podcasts, but we're afraid to ask. I'll be right back on Sports Byline USA Radio Network. The world is changing so fast these days. You ever feel like you're not keeping up personally or professionally? Enter Elevated Media ESQ. Elevating with Marsha allows you to advertise in a form you never thought possible. They feature a business in an interview type fashion, which is comfortable, amazingly affordable and flexible. Not only that, the feature on your business is then formulated into a podcast for convenient on-demand listening 24-7, 365. These times we're living in demand a different, clearer, more concise message. Does this sound like how you feel about how you market and advertise your business? Reach out today, no matter how big or small your business is. Elevating with Marsha is highly effective, and you'll be so grateful for the super fans she'll create. Email hello at elevatedmediaesq.com. Elevated Media ESQ, changing your business for the better. 
If you owe the IRS back taxes, don't worry. There's a bright side. The experts at brightsidetaxrelief.com will protect you from having your wages garnished, money deducted from your bank account, and your home or business seized. Brightsidetaxrelief.com will fight the IRS and negotiate to reduce or eliminate the amount you owe. Visit brightsidetaxrelief.com or call 800-730-4313. That's 800-730-4313. The consultation is free. Go to brightsidetaxrelief.com now. So, how can I promote my new curbside pickup service? It's possible with Staples Connect. I need custom floor decals that'll get noticed, not just walked on. Also possible. Staples Connect can help your business grow with custom printed sales and marketing materials. Now get $10 off signs, banners, or posters when you spend $50 or more. Explore what's new at your local Staples. Staples Connect, the working and learning store. N73 valid in store and online. Visit staples.com slash signage for details. Gotta finish this today. Cristiano's construction projects typically run smoothly, but this project's pipeline is about to burst. Yo, boss, where you want us to put this? To the left. Your other left. John. Indeed can help him hire the people he needs. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. When you sponsor a job, you immediately get your short list of quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job criteria. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Ron Barr here. Now that people are getting out and exercising more, I want to recommend Relief Factor to you. Relief Factor helps those exercise-related pains and general muscle aches and pains. Now, if you're going to be working in the garden, you're going to be using your hands a lot. And if your hands hurt, listen to what Julia Brown had to say about using Relief Factor. I had pain in my hands that kept me from work and doing projects around the home. I heard about Relief Factor on the radio and began taking it, and it left me with pain-free hands again. I was able to do the things around the house that I enjoy doing. I'm so glad I found Relief Factor. 100 million Americans suffer from ongoing pain due to aging, exercise, overexertion, and the effects of everyday living. Be sure to check out Relief Factor at relieffactor.com or give them a call at 800-500-8384. That's 800-500-8384. Between jobs, retiring, or just need health or life insurance, please visit myhealth-quotes.com or call 833-687-5261. Before you try to get a quote online, call us. We will provide you with the information most sites will not. We teach you exactly what life or health insurance plan you qualify for, how to use your plan, and maximize your benefits. We provide you with the information to make a knowledge-based decision to ensure selecting the right plan. MyHealth-Quotes.com to schedule an appointment. All right, everybody, welcome back. This is Marsha Hawkins, and this is Elevating with Marsha. Welcome to my podcast today. Today, we're going to take the hour to talk about podcasting. I feel it's important to take some time and explain the popularity of this phenomenon. Everybody's uh, uh, listening to podcasts, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to talk about the history, what the stats are, and what is the future for podcasting. So we're going to start a little bit by talking about the history of podcasts. So podcasts, believe it or not, actually predate the internet. That was something that I didn't even know. They actually go back to the early 1980s and were originally referred to as audio blogging, similar um, similar to where blogging became really popular when the internet unfolded. But many were doing audio blogs. The problem with it was there was no way to distribute the information. So it was a great way for anybody to share their experiences and their thoughts with other people via audio recordings. However, they just did not have the means to distribute the recordings. It took almost another 20 years before we had that ability. Kind of interesting how it all unfolded. So back um, around the early 2000s with the rise and the popularity of portable audio devices, think like your iPod, The concept of being able to download these audio blogs to an audio player, such as an MP3 file, became the norm. And hence, voila, we now have podcasting. So then by 2003, people were actually able to download audio blogs to their iPod. I believe there was a journalist, I think his name was like a Ben Hammersley, something like that. He actually is the one that coined the term podcasting, hence the word pod in podcasting 
from the original iPod. I wonder how many people actually use their iPods anymore. I know I, for one, I, I know it's in my car somewhere, but I honestly don't believe I pulled it out with the uh, purchase of my smartphone several years ago. I, I don't, I'm wondering if people even use them anymore, maybe for, um, to save some of their uh, space on their phones, maybe they do. But I, for one, I, I haven't used my my iPod in years. But that's kind of interesting. So that's kind of how the the birth of podcasting became um, so widely uh, popular. Really interesting. I, I when I was researching the history on podcast uh, some time ago, uh, probably about two years ago, I was quite surprised to learn that it was actually coined after after the iPod. But no surprise, I guess, when you think about it. So then, um, then we um, move forward to 2003, uh, you know, when people were able to download their podcasting. Then in 2005, Apple actually officially added podcasting to its iTunes library. So that was in 2005. Steve Jobs and Apple proved that anybody could create a podcast just using their Mac. And then they had the ability to share it with the world. Now, distribution of that of that uh, podcast, that's where it kind of gets tricky. I, I think of a lot of people who utilize podcasts, but they don't really have the means to distribute it. Well, then, of course, came along Facebook and Instagram and all the social media channels, of course, YouTube and SoundCloud and all those. But that really gave people the avenue to be able to distribute their information. So I see that while it may seem to some that podcasting is really in its infancy, I really don't see it that way. I see it that everybody virtually has their own news channel uh, with YouTube. They have their own news uh, you know, radio channel with podcasting. And they also have, um, you know, a means to be journalistic, if you will, through the power of their social media channels. But I also think people don't tap into it um, in the way that they possibly could if they really thought about um, their audiences. The, the Internet, I love it. I think it's great. It's wonderful. And it does provide uh, uh, so, uh, so many avenues to exchange information. But I think that it has kind of a downside to it as well. I'm, I think some of the social media channels, while they have kind of gotten off track a little a little bit, whether it's with politics or people downloading way too much uh, personal information. Uh, I, you know, I always tell people, I, I have, uh, you know, a few people that I know that, that I, in my opinion, put way too much personal information out there. I think that for hackers and alike, that it, it's, not, it's not a good idea to do all that. But they do. And I, I equate it to, you know, when you put stuff on social media, it, it's really like putting it on the cover of USA Today, because unless your profiles are private, which most people aren't, most people keep them um, public, anyone can research information about you. I'm, I guess, uh, you know, yes, I, I'm, I'm here on this podcast every week and I am public. But um, I, I don't put a lot of personal information onto the uh, social media channels. I'm always a little surprised by that. But for whatever reason, people feel the need to do that. I'm probably going to do another podcast on that because I think ego kind of comes into play with that a little bit. And I think a lot of people are able to kind of bolster their ego with their social media posts. So, but it is a fabulous way to really get in front of your intended audience if you own a business. And that's why podcasting, I believe, is really going to become um, even more popular in the next decade. I, I think it's just a, a, an incredible tool for your business. And I'm going to get into it in the second and third segment as to why I think you can utilize it to your benefit. So, yeah. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about, um, you know, the, the, the history of it. So after Apple added the iTunes music library, once they added the podcasting to that, um, then after that, there were 700,000 podcasts that had been created with over 30 million million episodes of content. That is staggering to me. Most of them for free. So those numbers are a testament to the popularity of podcasting. And incredibly, about a third of those episodes have been created since 2018. 2018, that was just a couple of years ago. 
And now with the uh, proliferation of smartphones, now everyone has a podcast player. The most popular podcast network today is in close competition between iHeartRadio and NPR. You can find Elevating with Marsha on iHeartRadio. Both have over 22 million of uh, monthly listeners. These networks offer some of the most popular podcasts. There's another real popular one in there as well, and I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. Uh, So the advantage of podcasting, the format is that it offers an endless variety of options for you. Any topic a person can be interested in is actually usually found in a podcast format. When you think sports, when you think commentary, comedy, pop culture, news, opinion, policy, self-help, fitness, nutrition, I mean, you can even find vices for crying out loud. There's something for everyone on a podcast. I love the fact that for for certain things like weight loss and fitness, I find there's kind of a a compliance factor, if you will, being able to listen to that podcast on a weekly basis or checking into their uh, social media channels where they might have up-to-date information on it. It really is a great way to keep yourself compliant if you're on a weight loss program, um, a fitness program. um, There's financial advice on, on the podcast. So it's really incredible when you think the amount of content that is out there just through the uh, the art of par- podcasting. So I'm really quite impressed with the ability um, and the amount of people that you can reach with a podcast. So for an up-and-coming podcast creator, the ability to share all that information on a pa- podcast uh, hosting platform about their topic is even easier than ever. As I mentioned earlier, you have the power of social media to be able to get in front of that audience in a way that 20 years ago, you did not have that ability. So you can inject information um, about musicians on YouTube and SoundCloud. Now, I noticed that there's a huge trend with that now. Um, everybody seems to be um, you know, trying to break into the music industry through YouTube and SoundCloud. Self-promotion is where it all comes down to. And taking back that power to market oneself or business has never been easier because of podcasting. And that's, I, I think, one of the, um, the unknown facts about podcasting is the ability of being able to wrap all of that self-promotion in on in either a daily or a weekly basis. Most people are doing weekly podcasts, but there are, of course, people out there that are doing them daily, which is incredible. So you're also able to give your listeners a large variety of content to choose from, uh, typically updated every week again or daily, will keep them engaged over a long period. In 2021, the top five categories for podcast, society, and culture, business, comedy, health, news, and politics. No surprise there. Podcasts are um, offering deep dives into topics that most are interested in are eagerly awaiting to tune in daily or weekly. It really is the way to go. I, I know with podcasting as well, we're going to talk about it in the next segment, is having the ability to connect with your audience through, through an audio uh, format but also giving the listener the ability to multitask, which we're going to talk about that when we come back from the break. But we do need to take a quick break. This is Elevating with Marsh on XM203, Sirius 217, and on the Sirius XM app at 967 Sports Byline, USA Radio Network. You can find us on iHeartRadio, Amazon Audible, Stitcher Tuned In, and the American Forces Radio Network. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. I'm going to tell you how you can get real health care for as little as $6 a day. Yes, now you can get affordable health care for you and your family immediately and save as much as 50% off your current monthly health care payments. Our plans are perfect for people that are self-employed, can't afford health benefits where they work, or just want to pay less for their current health care. And coverage is guaranteed regardless of your medical condition. We even offer some of the new Christian faith-based health benefits. Save up to 50% on your family's health care. Make a free quick call now. There are no contracts and we give you a 10-day money-back trial period. Call Provision Enrollment right now for your risk-free guaranteed health insurance quote starting at $6 a day. 800-472-5145. 800-472-5145. That's 800-472-5145. 
If you or a loved one is suffering from a physical or emotional condition that has left you unable to work, then listen carefully. Take this number down. 800-593-7491. That's 800-593-7491. When you call, you'll speak with a Social Security disability expert and get a free evaluation to see if you may qualify for disability insurance benefits from the U.S. government. That's right, a monthly cash payment paid directly to you from the Social Security Administration. Whether you're applying for the first time or you've already been denied disability benefits, call now. The disability attorneys at Pinnacle Disability can help you build your case, file an appeal, and represent you at no upfront cost to you. Don't wait another minute to see if you may qualify for your Social Security disability benefits. Call Pinnacle Disability Group at 800-593-7491 for your free case evaluation. That's 800-593-7491. 800-593-7491. Call now. Have you written a book? You can become a published author with Dorrance Publishing, the nation's oldest publishing services company. Countless authors have trusted Dorrance for nearly a 100 years to bring their book to the market. Our professional team will edit your text, design your book pages, and create an appealing, eye-catching custom cover. Plus, our authors benefit from a custom book promotion marketing campaign that makes your book available where people buy books, like Amazon and -and brick-and-mortar bookstores. So make this free call right now to claim your free author's guide to publishing. Don't wait another day. Take one step closer to realizing your dream of becoming a published author and seeing your name in print. You've already written a book, so the next thing to do is make this free call right now to Dorns Publishing and get your free guide to publishing. Call right now. 800-485-6003. 800-485-6003. That's 800-485-6003. Elevating with Marsha on Sirius XM. Happy to have you today. Today we are talking about podcasting. I'm super excited about this topic because I know podcasting is where it's at. Yes, I, of course I have a podcast. Of course I love it. But as a business owner, I can tell you if you are looking to find a way to simplify, streamline, organize, disseminate all of the information about your business, podcasting encumbers and just incorporates all of that. It is a great way to get in front of your audience. It's talking, it's conversational, it's creating super fans for your business. People love podcasting. Go to the gym, look at how many people are on the treadmill listening to a podcast or listening to music, watching TV while they're doing something else, gardening, driving, walking, eating their lunch. Uh, Everyone's uh, listening to podcasts. They are red hot. Just want to give you some interesting stats about it as well. Just in 2021, over 55% of the U.S. population have listened to a podcast. In 2020, over 155 million people listen to a podcast every week. 24% of the U.S. population, that equates to 68 million people, listen to multiple podcasts weekly. Podcast listeners consume on average of seven different shows per week. I love that number. There's over 700,000 active podcasts and 29 million podcast episodes available. That's a staggering number. The most popular age group for podcast listeners, I disagree with this, but obviously these are the stats, 25 to 44. Um, I think the demographic on that probably lines up a little bit, but I think I would edge it up into the late 50s, early 60s. I know a ton of people in that age bracket that love podcasts, and most of them listen to two or three a day. They listen on the way into work. They listen while they're working out, and they listen on the way home. Three times a day, they're tuning into different podcasts. That's going to make up 49% of the total listeners. So again, being able to listen to a, a book while you garden or drive or eat your lunch or while on the treadmill makes so much sense. Think Amazon Audible. That's why it's so popular. I know for a lot of people, downloading a book has become the way. Kindle is also very popular. I also see when I'm flying, I see a lot of people listening to podcasts while they're, while they're flying. It's, it's a great way. I know several people that actually use it to listen to them while they're falling asleep. There's a lot of self-help podcasts out there that are really great to tune into while you're um, trying to fall asleep. So it's kind of cool. So just, you know, kind of imagine when you think about podcasting, imagine like listening to a smooth, I'm I'm a little cranked up today because I'm super excited about this topic, but 
um, listening to a smooth, relaxing voice on a podcast, because I can do that too, you would be hanging on to their every word and ready for their next episode immediately thereafter. Think When you think about podcasting, you're, you're really making an emotional connection to the audience, much like music. And I've talked about this before on my uh, previous podcast. We had a really super um, photographer on, Colin McGann, and actually he's going to be unveiling his prints for sale. If you're in the New England area, although he has photographed all over the United States, his photos are incredible. If you go to Colin McGann Photography on Facebook, he posts a lot of them. And July 4th is the day that he's going to be unveiling his prints that are for sale. Incredible work. But I, I, in the podcast, I had mentioned that, you know, like much like music, people make an, an emotional connection to it. With photography, people will make an emotional connection to it. Um, I have kind of a funny story. So I have this guy, um, again, I'm working on this project out of Hollywood. And he said to me, you know, Marsha, when I listen, I mean, I've had people that have asked me to do their voiceovers for their, for their um, voicemail, their, it's, which I do. And he was telling me, he goes, you know, when I listen to your voicemail, you sound so sweet and innocent and all this other stuff. And I'm like, where are you going with that? And he went on to tell me, he said, but when I get on the phone with you and you're talking business, I feel like I'm talking to General Patton. And I never noticed that about myself before, but, um, but it, it wasn't in a negative way. He said, I find that I get very inspired by what you're telling me. You know, you're, you're not a procrastinator. You stay on task. You know what you want to do. You set your sights on your goals and you, you hunt it and you, 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 you get it. And, and I am very much a hunter in that, in that strategy. But I never heard anybody refer to me that way. So I actually thought that was quite funny. <laughs> But in podcasting, that's really what we want to do. We want to make that emotional connection to somebody. He identified that 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 was something that was lacking in himself, trying to stay focused and trying to stay on task. And he liked that that characteristic about me. So I find that with podcasting, you can actually do that. Connecting to your intended audience. When you listen to like a uh, like the the, uh, the Sirius XM channel, the Doctor Channel, when you listen to them and they talk about you know, medical advice and all of that. I mean, you know, if you're trying to, you know, listen in and, and get some, you know, insight into what's going on with you, just listening to those doctors sometimes can be very, very helpful. So podcasting has that ability to do that. And that is another quality about it that I absolutely love. It's so important to be able to connect to your audience that way. And there's no better way than to someone listening to your voice. Now, I, when I did video marketing back, um, and I still do it, but I found that one of the things that I, I, I really didn't understand was that very few people would actually watch the videos, which I knew uh, most of them will click off after after six seconds, but it's the content that we were really trying to provide. Uh, the content in those videos, call to action, the transcriptions, everything that we put in there was actually to help search engine optimization and content for um, for Google. And for YouTube. But what I came to realize was, is that even though they may have not watched the video, I did notice that they intently listened to the content and they listened to what I was saying on the videos or what was what was being said in the video. And so that kind of gave me some insight that when podcasting kind of came on the scene, just why it was so popular, you know, and then the other thing you want to think about too is, you know, let's face it, we're all short on time. We're starved for time. Actually, podcasting allows you um, to kind of absorb the information while you're, while you're trying to relax. Uh, you know, again, I, for one, I love listening to podcasts while I'm driving. I find personally, I absorb so much more content because I'm completely tuned in when I'm driving. I, I'm, for one, get very easily distracted when I'm reading. I can hear a bird chirp outside and I've lost my, my concentration. A good quality podcast can be an amazing asset to your business. And not only can we show you how to utilize it and grow your organic reach um, with search results, but it also can build trust and relationships with your customers and your prospects. Just a few hours a week or a month, you can help make your podcast something worth reading or listening to and grow your sales over a long term. And again, we can also use your podcast in a blog format. Um, we can create a transcription for the podcast, which then creates all 
of those uh, keywords that uh, that you know are incorporated into your business, incorporated into your search results, and we can utilize that valuable content and disseminate it across the internet. So it's super, super, uh, it's an incredible tool to have in your toolbox when you're thinking about how to market your business. Let's face it, um, as a business owner, it gets more challenging every month trying to figure out how to get in front of your intended customer, your patient, um, your clients, uh, being able to get in front of them. Sirius XM, you know, iHeartRadio, all of that is just an, it has an incredible reach and it's a great way to really market your business. So if you are interested in a podcast, I invite you to go over to Elevating with Marsha on Instagram or Facebook. You can direct message me there. We can schedule a time to get on a call and a Zoom meeting and talk about what your goals are for your business and how we can take it to the next level with a podcast. And if you're not real interested in having your voice on radio, I'm okay with that too. I can do it for you. And in a very passionate way um, to make sure that your message gets delivered in the manner that you're looking to get it delivered. All right, everybody, I want to talk a little bit of sports before we go. Um, Cam Newton looking pretty good at Gillette. I will say I'm quite um, quite excited about the year, uh, the 2021 season. We are less than 100 days out from kickoff at Gillette Stadium. Super excited, but I hear he's looking pretty good. Also, we've got a new coach for the Celtics. Uh, I was a little surprised they didn't go with Becky, but uh, here we are. And, of course, Tom Brady, what's going on with him? I find him on social media, not the norm that we used to have with Tom Brady. I find his ego is a little bit out there. I'm kind of over that he left New England, but, however, I do see – and his ego is alive and well on social media. Not something characteristic of Tom Brady. So I'm a little surprised about that. And the New York Yankees were shown a broom with the uh, Boston Red Sox. Boy, they are looking good. I will tell you, I am very excited about the season for the Red Sox. They seem to have their you-know-what together this year. So I'm quite uh, quite excited about that as well. I love New England. I love New England sports. And I do talk about other teams. But, yes, they are my favorites. I will tell you that. So, very excited about that. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. If you're not using podcasting for your business, you will. Not having a podcast is like not having a website. Hi, this is Marsha Hawkins of Elevating with Marsha on Sirius XM Channel 211, the Dan Patrick Channel. You can get your business on my podcast. It's a great way to create super fans for your business with a controlled message in a news format. What better way to get in front of your intended audience, your clients, your customers, or patients? Please contact me at hello at elevatedmediaesq.com about getting your business on my show, Elevating with Marsha. We also can create a personalized podcast that you can use on your website or social media channels. Contact me at hello at elevatedmediaesq.com and join me on Elevating with Marsha on Sirius XM Channel 211, the Dan Patrick Channel. Your outdoor experiences could be better. Clearly better. Canon sunglasses are made exclusively with polarized lenses for optimal clarity. Using Japanese optics, Canon's lenses are clearer, lighter, and stronger than other lenses, and they're nearly impossible to scratch. With frames handcrafted in Italy, Canon sunglasses elevate your experiences outside with a degree of clarity beyond your wildest imagination. Canon designs and manufactures are high-performance eyewear to be clearly better than any sunglasses you've tried before. Use the exclusive code CANONCAST15 at Canon.com to receive 15% off your first pair. That's K-A-E-N-O-N-C-A-S-T-1-5. Canaan. Clearly better. My doctor prescribed me Viagra. 
It wasn't covered by my insurance, so it was costing me like $65 a pill. That's expensive. Over 20 million guys like us use Viagra. Over a certain age, we just need it. I found a way to pay less than $3 a pill and get virtually the same effect of the $65 pill. I heard an ad just like this on the radio called, and for $99, I got 40 generic versions of the $65 pill. Save yourself money and call right now and get over 40 pills for $99. There's no embarrassment here to use Viagra. If we're over 50, we need it, but not at high prices. Call now with your credit card and get the 40 pill special for just $99. 800-399-3691. 800-399-3691. That's 800-399-3691. The double play! It's baseball season, and you're ready to go all out. So you ordered the essentials to make game day a success. Like a jersey, a power recliner, and a bigger screen. And you used your Bank of America customized cash rewards credit card, choosing to earn 3% cash back on online shopping. Rewards that you put toward an essential piece of the celebration. An air horn. <laughs> Apply for yours at bankofamerica.com slash more rewarding. Copyright 2021, Bank of America Corporation. Between jobs, retiring, or just need health or life insurance, please visit myhealth-quotes.com or call 833-687-5261. Before you try to get a quote online, call us. We will provide you with the information most sites will not. We teach you exactly what life or health insurance plan you qualify for, how to use your plan, and maximize your benefits. We provide you with the information to make a knowledge-based decision to ensure selecting the right plan. Myhealth-quotes.com to Schedule an appointment. everybody. Welcome back. This is Marsha Hawkins. You're listening to Elevating with Marsha on XM203, Sirius 217, and on the app, 967 Sports Byline USA Radio Network. But we're talking about podcasting today, and I felt it was important to uh, kind of, uh, before the 4th of July break, kind of get in uh, to the power of podcasting. If you're a business owner and you're thinking, you know, how am I going to get in front of you know, my intended audience. Post-COVID, I think every business owner would tell you they are really trying to reinvent themselves after COVID, especially the service industry, uh, travel, leisure, restaurants. Uh, I know hair salons really took a big hit. Nail salons, those types of businesses really took quite a hit. And I think, uh, you know, even though most of the states are all opened up at 100 percent and things are starting to feel like they're getting back to normal, the way they marketed uh, prior to COVID is simply gone out the window. I, for one, know that in marketing your business, uh, especially when it comes to online, uh, you, you know, Google is great. I love Google. It's wonderful. Um, However, you've got to have really, really deep pockets to be able to figure out an ever-changing algorithm. I mean, how many times did you get an email or a postcard or a phone call or something from a Google rep saying, you know, we can get you on the first page of Google and, you know, you got to do this and you got to do that. And as I interviewed clients over the past decade, uh, you know, most of them were extremely frustrated that every means of communication that they tried to get in front of their their client, customer, or patient failed, failed miserably. I think it was GM back in maybe 10 years ago that dropped about $10 million on Facebook advertising and said they did not see a return on their investment for that. So even large scale companies were feeling the frustration of trying to figure out how to get in front of their intended audience. Now, I know for one, I was very frustrated that it seemed that every form of advertising that I attempted to do, whether it was radio, TV, 
uh, any of that um, really fell, uh, uh, you know, at the wayside because the, the minute the rep would leave my office, they would then turn over and they would go sell the exact same advertisement to my competitor with the pitch that, well, she just bought it. She's advertising her business. You, you certainly don't want to be left behind. So between that philosophy and that strategy and, uh, you know, the pay-per-click campaigns and, and constantly getting outbidded and putting a budget and exhausting your budget for the month, usually in the first week, business owners had a level of frustration that I had never seen before. They were very um, distrustful. They, they, they really didn't want to hear about it. Um, many of you know, I'm known for my video marketing services. And even then, um, it was very hard uh, with not owning Google and not owning a search engine or owning a social media platform. You do need to be very, very careful in what uh, results you're going to be able to deliver um, to a potential client because you have no way of knowing that. The algorithms change. Uh, nobody really understands to the depths and, and how often those algorithms change and being able to you know, purchase keywords through pay-per-click and all of that, search engine optimization, all of that can be very, very difficult if you don't understand how it's done. I know many businesses back in the early uh, 2000s and the late uh, 1990s really went out of business because of, of pay-per-click. You can pay-per-click your way completely out of business if you're not careful. So I, I think back to the earlier days, how we communicated to our audiences. And uh, again, we, we did it in the means of of, of the internet. But also, if you think back, you know, a little bit before the internet, what was real popular then? Infomercials. That used to be so prevalent on TV. While they are still popular, I do feel like with the induction of Netflix and on-demand TV commercials are really starting to become a thing of the past. Ironically, podcasting actually was around several years before that, as I mentioned. Back then, it was just called the audio blogging. Blogging actually became very a very popular strategy uh, with the invention of the internet. It was a way um, to create interesting content about your business. It was a, a means to help you with your search engine optimization by putting keywords in there, providing quality, rich content for your website. Content, most people don't understand, is actually what drives traffic over to your website. So all the search engines are going to start crawling through uh, your website they're looking for quality content. So by appending a blog to your website, it created that content that the search engines were actually crawling for. So between search engine optimization, uh, the constant battle of, of trying to come up with rich quality content, pay-per-click, social media, it's all hard for businesses to keep up with. Imagine, um, you know, you add in the technology, new technology, which changes. I mean, what used to happen in three months now happens in three seconds. You have the algorithms and more. It's nearly impossible. With podcasting, it's so different. You have a very controlled message. You know, let's face it. Nobody is going to talk about your business better than you. Now, if you're thinking, well, I'd love to come on your show. I'd love to do a podcast, but I can't even stand to listen to myself on a voicemail. <laughs> I get that. I totally get that. But what's kind of cool about it is it's really in a conversational uh, manner that we would uh, conduct the show. If you go back into my archives and you listen to some of my guests, you'll see they're not radio hosts. They're not TV stars. They're just passionately talking about their business. And, you know, in worst case scenario, if you just simply cannot stand listening to yourself, and some people have told me that, I'm fine with it. I can take your content and I can create the podcast for you. So that's kind of, um, you know, a, 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 a arrow in your quiver that you have if you simply do not want to, uh, you know, if you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. I totally get that. All right. So I've said it probably 10 times on this program that I also believe that websites are going to be a dinosaur and pretty quick. So think about this. Think about your own habits when you're online searching. Now, I know for me, I tend to go to probably less than five sites per day. That's quite minimal given the internet. When it first came out, we would search hundreds and hundreds of websites in the course of a week. Now we just go to apps. Apps, I believe, along with podcasting, are going to overtake the internet. That is my prediction. Some people, I'm working on a huge project out of Hollywood right now, and I, I'm going to talk about that in one of my upcoming podcasts. It's an incredible project that we're working on. I'm very, very excited about it. Some of the names 
um, that I'm working with are household names. You would recognize them. And one of our first meetings that we had, I had mentioned that to them, that I really felt that, you know, websites were going to go away. And again, I have mentioned it on this program. And it wasn't until the next meeting that uh, one of the members on the team said to me, he said, you know, I really thought about what you said and I was talking to my wife about it and I realized I think you're right. Like, I really do believe websites are probably going to go away. I look at my phone, my smartphone, and I, I have nothing but apps on there. It's so much easier. I'm already logged in. I can click on. I can do my banking. I can do everything that I need to do from an app. I just do not find myself going to websites anymore. I think there's a little bit of good news in there, though, for a business owner. One of the hardest things for people as a business owner to do, now you've got your social media management, you especially, and I'm really targeting small business owners when I talk about this, but most of them do their own social media. They're trying to do their internet marketing and they're trying to keep their websites current and relevant. Uh, websites, typically when you do them, you really need to do them every year or ev at least every 18 months. And that's very difficult uh, for a small business owner uh, to try to keep up with that. But if you go to somebody's website after say a year, in most cases, it's probably going to look very, very outdated. So that's very difficult. Remember back in the days when we used to have those 10,000, 20,000? If I could have 50% of the money I spent on websites when they first got going back, I could probably retire. It was an ungodly amount of money that we used to spend on websites. And now, of course, they're all automated. They're templates. They're, it's, uh, it's what I called canned programming. They're, they're buying, you know, purchasing plugins to put in. You can virtually have a website up in, in minutes um, if, if you have a, even just a little bit of technology um, at your disposal. So it's, things are changing so much, so, so much. And that's kind of one of the things I love about podcasting. You have the ability to make a change simply by talking. Do you know that most people do not get their websites done? Uh, programmers actually pull their hair out trying to get the client to give them the information that they need to finish their website. It's usually the business owner that will hold up that website being completed. Why? Because of content. They, they have not gathered all of their content together so that they can actually then plug that into the, the website. It's hard, but it's not hard to simply have a conversation, which is why podcasting is just so cool. I love it. You can tell I love it. But that is the beauty of it. Sitting down and trying to write out um, everything you want on your website can be very daunting and very, very difficult. All right. We got to take a quick break. This is Elevating with Marsha on XM203, Sirius 217, and on the app 967 Sports Byline USA Radio Network. We'll be right back. Do you have a story to share? Your story. Lifetime Private Autobiography Services can help. We will interview you by video or phone to get your memories in your words using your pictures. Our staff of talented writers will then recreate your story into a beautifully handcrafted book. You'll receive 10 individual copies for friends and family to enjoy for generations to come. Visit privateautobiography.com to schedule a free consultation. Mention this ad for a bonus audio recording from your personal interviews. To get started, visit privateautobiography.com or call 844-921-2802. That's 844-921-2802. Remember and be remembered with this gift of a lifetime. At 28, I had struggled with opiate and meth addiction for 12 years. I did and said things that the sober me never would have done. One day I realized I was not invincible. I was not exempt. And that's when a friend told me about elite rehab placement. They gave me the tools I needed to get sober. And all it took was the one phone call. 
Elite Rehab can help you start to break your addiction problem and get sober in as little as seven days. And we'll work with your insurance provider to help cover the costs. Plus, we have travel assistance programs to get you here by plane or train. Make this free call right now to learn more. 800-403-5912 That's 800-403-5912 Hello and welcome back to the Ronnie Deutsch Tax Program. On the line is Paul from California. Hi Paul, what's your tax problem today? Hi Ronnie, love your show. Listen, I've got a big problem. You see, my paycheck was garnished last week and I'm only getting half the normal amount. To make matters worse, the IRS froze my bank account. Listen, I'm embarrassed and scared. I need some help. Listen, Paul, you don't need to feel embarrassed. You just need some tax help. And the great news is the IRS has some unbelievable programs that can eliminate your tax debt so you don't have to worry about having your paycheck garnished or your bank levied. Doesn't that sound great? It sure does, Ronnie. Then do yourself a huge favor and get a free consultation right now. And tell them the tax lady sent you. 855-715-5721. 855-715-5721. 855-715-5721. That's 855-715-5721. tuning in and thank you for joining me today to talk about my favorite thing that I do best communicate another podcast of elevating with Marsha is in the books on XM 203 Sirius 217 and on the Sirius XM app at 967 Sports Byline USA Radio Network you can also find me on iHeartRadio Amazon Audible Stitcher iTunes tuned in and my favorite, the American Forces Radio Network. Today's show is brought to you by Blue Wave Financial, bluewavefinancial.com, myhealth-quotes.com, and elevatedmediaesq.com. Please stop by our Facebook or Instagram page at Elevating with Marsha. We post informative information, sports news, business and lifestyle tips and ideas to help you elevate yourself and your business. If you're interested, again, in featuring your business on Elevating with Marsha, we can share the listeners' pertinent information about your business. Podcasting is red hot right now and productive. It allows for your intended audience to listen when it's convenient for them, allows for multitasking, creates relationship building with your audience, and let's face it, nobody's going to promote your business better than you with a passionate and clear message about your product, services, and cause. The one-hour podcast will allow you to connect and accomplish everything we just talked about and more. Talked a lot about that in this podcast. It will also help with providing rich content that you can utilize on your social media channels. And it's a powerful marketing investment and a strategic means to link your businesses with new customers and clients. If you're a business owner looking to market your business with a podcast, direct message me for details on Instagram and Facebook. And that's all for today on Elevating with Marsh on Sports Byline USA Radio Network. Remember, always, always be in the minute to win it. And I hope you have a great 4th of July weekend. Adios.